Hello, I'm Kerem, uh, user acquisition manager for Gram Games. Uh, before I start, let me show you the Gram Games. Oh. Yeah, that was us. Uh, Gram Games was founded in 2012, and after some challenging time, uh, the team created 1010 in a one day in our prototype day, and we used last available fundings in marketing for 1010, and it became a unicorn for us. After that, we launched two, uh, three new titles, Ten and World, Merge, Six. Uh, we experienced a lot of things by doing uh, Tantan and Merge UA, and we cha channeled all our learnings to Six. Now Six has a big global success. It's number one in almost eight countries right now uh, in App Store. And I'm here to tell you about what we learned by doing UA for Tendon. Uh, here is the uh, journey of Tentan. Uh, green ones are the organic installs and uh, blue ones are the paid installs. Uh, we segmented our journey with uh, six points. Uh, at the beginning, we didn't have the resources, so uh, with a limited money we have, we did influencer campaigns, a bunch of Vine series, and it worked for us really good, and it gives the kick that we need to have. After that, we started to use uh, conservative digital channels such as Facebook and AdMob. Every other uh, startup who has a product in, those, in digital platforms uh, use that. But at the end, it wasn't enough for us for UA. Then we started to dig in and find out uh, some game specialized ad networks such as AppLovin and Chartbus. We onboard them. We try, uh, we increase our volume. Uh, after that, it wasn't enough. Uh, we consumed all the uh, potential of there, and we started to onboard new networks. We had a system. We at that time we used our 50 percent of our budget for onboarding new networks, testing, doing test campaigns. Uh, after that, uh, we wanted to scale up our DA. We have in-app monetized games, so we need to have really good DAU, especially on tier one countries. So we decided to celebrate 10th of September as World 1010 Day. And we did a big burst campaign. We just did advertise on iOS. We uh, increased our CPI targets by 30%. Uh, did a lot of incentivized, bought a lot of incentivized traffic. Uh, added influencer campaigns and content marketing and a bunch of networks. And yeah, we onboard uh, at least 15 more ad networks. What we got in five days, we got 3 million installs. We increased our DAU uh, almost 30%. And oh, that was a sorry, I sent. Uh, yeah. After that, we ask ourselves what we did wrong. Uh, actually, we managed to decrease our lifetime with that campaign by 30%. So uh, we did something wrong. We 
told that we bought lots of incentivized traffic. That was the reason that lifetime decreased. And at that time, uh, on December, we needed to increase our daily active users to get a uh, maximum benefit from Christmas time. So we did a second burst campaign. For that time, we did for both platforms. Uh, we did. We bought just non-incentivized traffic, extended the campaign duration a little bit more, and ensured that LTV is equal or greater than eCPI. Or uh, at that time, at December, we got 5 million installs in 20 days, uh, increase daily like active user number 30%, 30, 30 or, and we were like uh, in top, top five in 13 countries. After that, uh, we looked at burst campaigns didn't work for us really efficiently. Uh, we were getting, we increased our daily active user number a lot, but for that we paid a lot. So we uh, dig a little bit and decided to go on always on campaign models. Uh, from that time, we started to spend more always on. Uh, and uh, in two months, with that campaign model, we got 20 million installs and managed to decrease eCPI by 10%. It was also hard to keep momentum with always on campaigns because you can consume all the potential uh, in that country with getting too many installs. So we need to dig more uh, on our we need to evaluate our, our resources more, so we create our own analytics tool called Sorogram. Since Q2, we uh, implemented marketing analysis in it, and now we can calculate all these metrics uh, now for a source. Nope. So, uh, Try always, uh, my advice is trying always new uh, inventories is really important. You consume all the potential and my advice, at least 20% of your marketing budget should go to test campaigns with new sources. Do not hurry. Hurry. Time is a secret metric of user acquisition. It's really important because when you uh, try to get more installs that you're supposed to get, uh, you really lost money. Especially on in app monetized games, it, it is really important because the active user number is your uh, equal to revenue and you need to keep fresh that inventory. Be always data informed if you want to optimize and keep the momentum. Uh, you need to know your sources, evaluate your sources really good, and optimize them. Yeah, that's what. Thank you.